So where are enterprises in their journey currently? So typically this is what we see. We are, we are beginning to look at a, at a landscape like this where we have a non-digitized core. We have some parts of, of vendor management out there, uh, business planning, some bits of e-commerce, maybe some part of compliance already, compliance reporting, regulatory compliance stuff, CRM. Uh, that went to the cloud a long, long time ago. Learning management, performance. These are much more recent enhancements that have come up. Uh, and there's a lot of push in, in getting to that point. In some places, we also have some parts of the analytics on the cloud, although it's a much more difficult option. But then uh, we have examples and case studies where we also have some analytics in the cloud and consolidation. Consolidation being on the cloud is also a very recent phenomenon. But then uh, we have our one of our use cases as well where consolidation takes place outside because of a very uh, non-linear core that they had. So, or at least uh, the current ECC that we have uh, gives us too much of flexibility. Uh, I will discuss that as well. So that was also a problem when it came to consolidation. So we are beginning to see uh, a landscape like this where enterprises is beginning start beginning to see this way you know so that is that is where we are and this process is is not so complete as well so we can see here that enterprises are somewhere between their 20 to 40 or 50 percent of this journey itself and that is where the realization sets in that when you go full steam in trying to digitize the edge you start having problems when you start connecting back to a non-digitized core and that was already getting difficult for customers at that point and this is precisely where customers are today where they have maybe 20 30 or in some cases 50 60 percent of the edge already digitized and they have a non-digital core or uh, a core that is not so intelligent like what sap is for example with their spahana so now coming back where are enterprises in their journey today? Uh, the preferred option, of course, is the edge to core approach. Most of the enterprises, like what I said, are somewhere in, in that 20 to 50 percent of their edge digitization cycle. And that is where the, the pain starts kicking in when they want to further digitize the edge. They already see difficulties in connecting back to uh, non-digitized core and that is where the problem starts getting bigger and they also see that the effort i mean this was a very one use case that we have with a customer in the uk where uh, the effort of actually connecting the edge back to the core uh, in one specific case at least was actually uh, more than the cost of the edge itself or digitizing the edge itself so that was a very unique case so the customer couldn't understand why it was uh, taking so much of effort to connect back to an ECC system uh, that they had and uh, yes that was on an older EHP version and that was very difficult to connect uh, uh, a scanning system out there with real-time data flowing in so that was that was already getting very difficult because ECC didn't have the microservices architecture fully deployed in, in the announcement pack there. Uh, the other option was to do a lot of work within the ECC area itself. So, so these are areas where customers typically get stuck as well. Now, uh, customers are at crossroads here. So they are left with uh, a decision to go ahead and start digitizing the core uh, and start moving things in parallel between edge and core. So that is where they are currently. So, and also we also see that digitization has to be done at an optimal cost uh, to be able to provide better value to the enterprise without actually incurring too much of license cost. I'll come back to this discussion uh, a bit later here in this, in this presentation, because when you think of doing this, the options before at least the SAP install base are, are, are uh, two or three options that we have. Uh, we, we were beginning to see a lot more of the of the conversions that are uh, being keen with customers at least because 
to do a new implementation again is, is, is a lot more effort than it was originally thought. So again, that, so this means that further digitization of the edge is not possible without the core getting digitized in the first place. So customers here really are at a crossroads where they have to get back to digitizing the core. So this is what we already discussed now. 